How is it going everybody and welcome to the final episode of Donkey Kong Country Returns. Last time we continued our endeavors within the Cloud World. And this time before we finish off the Cloud World and this game overall, I do want to show off that once you unlock the Golden Temple and head through it for the first time, now it says Cloud Gateway instead of Gold Temple. And when we enter, it's just a simple transitional cutscene because, you know, hardware limitations and all that jazz. But without any further ado, let's head into 9-7, the Robo Factory. Alright, so the robotics world. I remember having not that great of a time on that world because of the whole find a button quest. It wasn't that bad, but, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. It could have been a lot worse than it ended up being. It was a long world, though. Anyway, it looks like we are creating a giant robot, so that's gonna be fun. Okay, well, how about we... Oh yeah, we can't destroy those guys. We can destroy the blue ones, but not the red ones. I always knew Pokemon Blue version was the superior version. Alright, let's go ahead and avoid the crushing robotic arms. Alright. We're gonna be careful with our platforming, as we always are, or attempt to be. Ooh, there's something down there that... Oh, I got hit. Alright. Ooh, another puzzle piece. I will take that, although... Eh, I mean, it doesn't matter. We probably won't be collecting all of them, because, again, I haven't really done that throughout the entire series. But nonetheless, I do actually believe there is a bonus area right here, yes indeed. So we could technically get another puzzle piece, which I mean... I mean... I don't really want to collect all of them in a level, because, you know, redundancy and all that jazz, but, uh, you know, it, it could be fun to do it once. And there we go. With 13 seconds left on the clock, literally just about 13, point one, point one, can't forget the point, we did it. All right, so now we can go through here, okay. Oh, perfect. Alright, continuing to make the climb, and it looks like... Ooh, okay, new section. We're gonna continue building the robot here. With some gigantic arms. Wow, okay. Another puzzle piece. Hello, Professor Chops. I will gladly take that checkpoint. Oh, okay. So you're over here doing the crushy gimmick. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There's something over there. I can already sense it another puzzle piece yes it is that's five of nine hey we might actually complete an entire puzzle here I mean that'd be kind of cool I mean it doesn't matter if I do or not because again haven't really done that the entire time but you know it could be fun just to do it once okay oh there's definitely something here and it's a puzzle piece awesome that's six out of nine. Nice. Okay. Avoid the crushing. Definitely appreciate that. Okay, and it looks like we are completing our robot, which is a giant DK. That's actually really awesome. If that existed in real life and Nintendo sold it, I would probably buy it. And I'm dead because the timing was off. Beautiful. That's okay, at least we made it pretty much through the entire level before we ended up losing a life, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, this part. Okay, I remember all of the bounciness of these platforms. These weren't really great. And this is not great either, getting hit with the fire. Okay. Ooh, uh, I got hit there, are you serious? And I got hit again, are you serious? Oh, God. Alright, at least I made it past there, got a heart, thankfully, because Diddy was about to disappear. Okay. Oh, this part, okay. So we're going to be dealing with these again. I'm just going to take it nice and slow. Okay. Nice 
nice and slow. Nice and slow. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Last through. And it looks like we are about at the end of the level. Okay. There's that there. Banana coin. Another puzzle piece. That's eight of nine. Did I really miss out on one? I actually went through and collected pretty much all of them, and then I missed one anyway. Aw, oh, man. That actually kind of sucks. All right. Let's blast that down, and it looks like the references to the arcade Donkey Kongs continue a little bit. Man, there were so many references in these, uh, in this friggin' game. There was the Game & Watch reference, obviously many, many Donkey Kong references. There are plenty of Metroid references in here, too, because of, uh, Retro Studios, the developers of the Metroid Prime games. Man, there's so many references in this game. Anyway, let's go ahead, get that DK insignia for some bananas bushel of bananas and it allows us to get back to 99 lives which is awesome however what isn't awesome is the fact that I did not complete the pineapple puzzle but again completing puzzles is not required for a hundred percent so I'm more than content with actually not completing it I don't know, it's it's maybe it's because I'm so cl I was so close. I had eight of nine. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to 9-8, Lava Wheel Volcano, the second to last stage in this game, and the technically last original stage of this cloud world. I'm conflicted to say new because technically they are all new levels based off of the previous worlds in the game and you know they are only existing in this version of the game so I don't know it's difficult but it's including elements we've already seen before so I don't I'm not entirely sure anyway lava wheel okay so these are gonna be spinning you can already see that and we need to platform correctly. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. I actually like this challenge, especially for a pretty much final level. This is gonna be really, really fun. Okay. And we got fireballs too. Oh man, this is going to be exciting. Let's get a banana coin out of that. There we go. What do we got here? Bananas, all right, not too shabby. that. Okay, I need to wait again. Okay, now we go. Perfect. And we got another puzzle piece. Awesome. I think in this final episode, I'm probably... Actually, I think I've already collected in more puzzle pieces in this episode, 10, than I have in the last six levels. In these two levels. Ain't that something? Anyway, let's move on here. Okay, what do we got? Nothing? Cool. Got another bongo drum, it's lit up, which means we need to cause some platforming to happen. Oh, that's going to disappear. All right, well, Professor Chops gives us a checkpoint and Diddy is right here in case we do need it. So that is something worth noting. Okay, platforming. Platforming, platforming, okay. Not bad, could we, okay, that's an automatic hit. That kind of sucks, actually. Oh, we need to actually go over here. Oh, and then we just go this way. Okay, not too bad. Professor Chops, I will take that. Excellent. Let's just move on as quickly as we can. Oh, goodness. I can already see that it's starting to move. Oh, God. Am I screwed? Not cool. Uh, maybe? Uh, no, I think I'm fine. Okay, we're fine. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, actually, yeah, we're, we're, we're good. <laughs> I don't need to see if there's anything extra by platforming up there, because Diddy was gone, and there was no way Donkey would do that by himself. Because, let's be honest, even though Donkey Kong's a big boy and he's kind of agile, there's no way he could have been 
that agile. And now the moment has come. The final level in Donkey Kong Country Returns. It is the Golden Temple. That's right, the last level is technically the Golden Temple in the Wii version. But it's also the name of the final level in the Cloud World because, you know, they had to tie in the fact that this is still a level from the first version of the game, but also the final level in a completely almost entirely new world? Yeah, it's a little weird. Anyway, without any further ado, let's head into 9-9, -9, the final level of the game. And that special cutscene there is to mark the fact that, technically yes, this is the last true level of the game, in which Donkey and Diddy, if you had him, appear here after eating the golden banana in the temple. And yeah, there's generic music here in this level, which, I mean, is fine, but I would have preferred if they had maybe changed it up for this version to give something different. Also, these koalas are annoying, and I'm about to die destroy you. Can I please get a heart back? I know it's very not likely because the- oh no I did get one back. Awesome. Sweet. So yeah this level has a bunch of fruits. We need to platform. We need to do a whole bunch of stuff and I'm gonna die. Okay. I should have bounced on the tiki a little bit longer. You do get three bounces on those giant tikis. Yeah so without Diddy this level is actually quite difficult, um, so I'm gonna do my best. If I need to, I will exit, and I will grab Diddy elsewhere and come back, but I'm gonna try to not exit. I'm gonna try to beat this with just Donkey, although I would love to have Diddy in the, uh, the uh, credit sequence or the ending of the uh, level. So I'm gonna take my time. I'm just gonna take it as slow as I possibly can just to see what happens. All right, these tikis are also going to spawn out of thin air and try to kill you. So that is something to uh, behold. All right, strawberry, thank you for being my platform. If I could get up to that strawberry, that'd be great, but I'm just gonna platform, platform, platform. Perf ah, I should have stayed on the ground. Oh God, I am, I'm in trouble. Um. There are puzzle pieces in this level, by the way, so uh, it might be advantageous of you to go ahead and complete this. Okay, there we go. Destroy the one. Don't really need to destroy the other. I'm perfectly content with just... Oh, God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Those cherries on sticks, on cinnamon sticks, it looks like. They are, uh, they're bombs, and I completely messed up. Okay. So, getting to that section with Donkey Kong isn't really that difficult, but I think I need to exit and get Diddy. Okay, I'm back right by the cherry bomb sticks with Diddy, and I have full hearts on Diddy, which is going to make this very, very easy, or at least I hope. Okay. Okay. Doing good. Doing okay. Let's not get hit, please and thank you. Banana coin. Okay. Okay. I am very, very nervous. Okay. Destroy the koala, please and thank you. I do not want to deal with the koalas. Okay, here we go. This is it. We're making it farther than we have. Okay, I'm just going to just go through here. There are oranges that are going to fall from the ceiling. 
Just be super careful. Okay. Be very, very careful. Or should I say, very careful. Uh, now's not the time for puns. Okay. Swinging bananas. Okay. There is a puzzle piece on there, but I do not care because that is the end of this level. All we have to do is continuously go through these barrels to make the giant golden monkey statue appear. And we've done it. This is the end of Donkey Kong Country Returns. We can now play any level in mirror mode. In this mode, Donkey Kong does not receive any help from his pal Diddy and cannot use inventory items. And to make it more challenging, he only has uh, he has one less heart. Good luck. And that is it. Mirror mode in Donkey Kong Country Returns is not really the best. Also, time attack is unlocked, finally. Okay, so I can show off time attack a little bit. Uh, so as I'm going through my thoughts on the series, I'll show off time attack and I'll show off mirror mode. So, yes, ooh, Professor Chops actually shows us how to, uh, or rather times us. Oh, and we, doesn't look like we have any help here either, at least not right now. Maybe it's just because we're in a different mode. Uh, but anyway, yeah, time attack, you basically try to complete the level as quickly as possible. I don't know why the record is a minute and 12 seconds. That seems very ridiculous, but you know, developers are very tricky. They know how to play their game, I guess. Uh, but yeah, time attack, you just go through the levels, try to beat it as fast as possible, and you just keep going. Uh, however, I will be quitting the level because I do not need to extensively show this off. And then we will hop back into the Golden Temple in Mirror Mode. Uh, but I should explain, since I played this on the new mode on the 3DS version of Donkey Kong Country Returns, when you play Mirror Mode, you go back to the original mode's two hearts. However, if you were to clear the game in original mode and on the Wii version, or playing the Wii version, then mirror mode would send you down to only one heart. That's right, it's basically do or die, literally. So if you got hit once on the Wii version or in original mode's mirror mode, then you're basically screwed. So yeah, now I have two hearts, everything is mirrored, as you're used to probably by playing Mario Kart. And yeah, that is essentially the bonuses of Donkey Kong Country Returns. Literally everything is mirrored except for the life balloon counter there on those screens. That's actually a little weird. But uh, actually I didn't even have time to go over my thoughts on the project too, which is hilarious. But I guess I'll return to the title screen to give my thoughts on the project because, you know, that would be the most appropriate. So let's quit the game, go back to the title screen, or rather it's gonna send me to the file select screen. However, I could show you my file complete- oh no, it did send me to the title screen. Well, before I actually do- there we go, I was gonna say, I should have 100% completion on my file. I did play in new mode, as you know. However, I do have a file in original mode that I practiced the game on. Only got to world 4, but uh, yeah, I uh... Had a bit of practice and it was quite a fun time. But there we go, 100%, because for some reason I 100% Donkey Kong, or actually no, this is the first Donkey Kong game I've 100%ed. I think so, yeah. Wow, that's ironic. I was gonna say, I 100% Donkey Kong and Zelda games for some reason, but I think this is the first Donkey Kong game I've 100%ed, ironically enough. But uh, <laughs> ironically enough I say because it took so long for this series to be completed. 
And while we are now at the title screen and we'll cycle through a bunch of videos and all that stuff showing how the game is played, time to go over my thoughts on this series. So Donkey Kong Country Returns. I love this game. I really do. And it sucks that it took about a year to finish this game. There were so many delays between uh, get it, doing more hours at my job in real life to now transitioning to a full-time job with the same company and just so many other factors within my personal life uh, conflicting with being able to record more often than I would have liked. It uh, definitely put a big delay on the completion of this series. This series was originally supposed to end, I think in my Let's Play notes, I had this scheduled to end by like... April of 2022, so the fact that it didn't finish until like seven months later is a bit annoying on my part, especially as the years have gone by with Let's Playing, I've gotten a little more OCD in terms of like planning things out, so yeah, it wasn't really the greatest for mental health reasons on top of other things in my life, but uh, nonetheless, I love this series, I loved playing Donkey Kong again, even though this series itself was supposed to happen in 2020, which is ironic too. So many, <laughs> just, there was just so many delays involved with this series overall, but uh, it, it was such a fun time. I had a blast. Hopefully it doesn't take another couple years for me to get to Tropical Freeze, but you know, we'll have to wait and see about that one. Anyway, uh, of course, thank you all so much for your continued support on the series. Thank you for your patience. I think I said it in about, like, ten episodes in this series, and which would make it me saying it, like, in one-third of the episodes of the series overall. But thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your patience waiting for more episodes of this to come out month by month, week by week, day by day. Uh, your support means the world to me. If I can just make one person happy by playing video games very stupidly, then... I've done a good deed for, uh, for the day, for the week, for the year, for the month, for whatever. Just thank you. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. It, it doesn't go unnoticed. Even if I don't, uh, respond to comments as often as I should and things like that, I really do appreciate all of your support. It really does mean the world to me. As for what will be coming next to the channel, now, I don't want to make any promises on when it will start, but this is going to be an adventure that we are very familiar with. It's just set in a different timeline, if that makes any sense. Or rather, a different reality. Until then, thank you for watching Donkey Kong Country Returns. And until next time, in the next Let's Play, I will catch you later.